Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. We are back with another rate or roast your setup. It's been a while, I'm not gonna lie, it's been a while. Um, I've just been busy with other shit, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> but yeah, another rate and roasting your setups. I have no idea which number we're on. I've lost count. I think it's like number five or number six, something like that. I really enjoy doing these videos and it seems like you guys enjoy them as well. So the thing is, I don't want to do them too often either. For those who want to submit their own setup for the next video, follow me on Twitter. I usually ask on Twitter. I don't ask anywhere else. On Twitter, I'll usually put up a tweet asking for people to submit their setups and then we sort of just go from there. For those wondering, because I know there's going to be a lot of bloody questions, <laughs> what mic I'm using, what mic I'm, I'm using, Logitech Blue Sonar, awesome mic. I'd say it's better than the SM7B. And yeah, this Elgato Wave Arm or whatever it is, is pretty awesome as well. I'll leave links to both in the description below. I will also leave links to everything that I can and all the setups that I cover. Now, I don't know every single bloody product there is in every single setup, okay? So calm down. I'll try and leave links to everything that I can. I also don't have a sponsor for this video. So make sure to check out my newsletter, wallpapers, desk mats, presets, and anything else that I sell. Okay, cool because I am trying to be YouTube's first billionaire. Forget KSI, forget Mr. Beast. I'm trying to be YouTube's first billionaire because when I look at my bank account right now, yeah, it looks like I'm around a billion away. So we're close, we're close. Maybe we can get there one day. We'll see though. Okay, let's actually get into rating and roasting your setups. So I have Leo here, Leo Keller. Um, I love your work by the way, Leo. Really clean setup straight off the bat. Like this is definitely clean. I love the big leaf banana plant. Is that a banana plant? I'm not sure. And I don't know if it's real, but I think that looks awesome. The walls are very white though. That's the only thing. Um, I've really gone off white walls, but I know that you do a lot of photography work, right? So having a plain white background can be very useful. I also love the taken apart iPhone grid things on the wall. The only thing is, because I have them too, I feel like everyone's getting them. So it kind of just feels like it's not a unique thing anymore. I like the minimalist desk setup that you have uh, with the MacBook, the LG monitor, the desk mat, the, I think that's an MX, yeah, that's an MX mechanical mini keyboard and a Logitech um, MX Master 3. Looks like you have a MagSafe phone stand as well and I like the plant on the desk. I need to get more plants. I mean, this plant that I have here is fake. It's not even a real plant. So I should really get more plants to be honest. But I am wondering, where is your chair? Like, are you standing at this desk all the time? because it's not in the standing position or are you just really really small but yeah pretty minimal clean setup thanks for submitting it next up we have phil's setup he's captioned it airbnb desk setup 2022 and it is a macbook on an ironing board in what looks to be some sort of garage or something this looks dodgy as hell like i'm not gonna lie this looks like the type of place that you torture someone right maybe cut their things off um here and there you just yeah this is weird and that chair is just what is that chair what how is that even comfortable i bet that's the most uncomfortable thing ever yeah this is a really weird setup are you ironing at the same time as you're working also what's in the bag on the floor i really hope there isn't anything dodgy in there because that really does look bizarre oh uh, what's in the box what's in the fucking box and i also think maybe you're lying maybe it's not an airbnb death setup and maybe your parents or something have just summoned you to the garage because they're sick of having you in the house. <laughs> so yeah, pretty crap setup here. Um, but yeah, thanks for submitting anyway. Next up, we have a setup by Lock, Lock View. And I really like this setup. In this first picture that we can see, it's obviously a whole view of the setup itself. I really like those prints on the wall, the sort of racing Le Mans sort of prints. I think they look awesome. The only thing I don't like is the, I think, are they nano leaf sort of wooden panels? I feel like, I don't know why so many people keep adding them to their walls because I think they're so ugly. I get offered them all the time. I'm sorry, Nano Leaf, I'm roasting you here big time, but I just think they're super ugly. And the rest of the setup though, I do like it. I really like the sort of ergonomic office chair that you have here. I like the desk and I like how you have the monitor stand with the monitor and then the MacBook sort of off to the side. I think that looks really nice. But yeah, I do think my favorite part is actually those prints on the wall, the Le Mans prints. I think they look awesome. If we look at the next picture, oh, just a nice shot of, it's an iQnix keyboard, that. I know that for sure. Uh, it looks like a Logi MX Master 2 or MX Master 3. I like this shot as well, just sort of through the plants. It's, it's quite clever. I like the composition here. This is this is nice. Another shot of your setup. It looks like another part of your room um, with a shelf with Goku and another print of a taken apart iPhone. Like I said earlier, I feel like these are everywhere. Everyone is getting them. And then the final shot is obviously just a view in your setup. But yeah, I really like this setup. If we go back to the first picture, I really like that neon light in the corner as well. I actually wonder where that's from. Um, leave a comment below. I'd love to know where that's from because I think that looks pretty neat. Because I have I have this one here and that's just a Govee floor lamp. 
a Lyra floor lamp or something like that. And I think it's really nice. It changes colors and stuff and I use it in the background of videos. I think it looks really nice, but I like this one because it's like in a circle, well, it's like two LEDs, two, I don't even know what shape is that, oblong? I don't know. But yeah, that looks pretty awesome. Thanks for submitting your setup. Next up, we have Alessandro setup. And I'll be honest, Alessandro, the only good thing about this setup is a wallpaper. The rest of it is just absolute garbage. You can just throw it in the bin. Like, what is this cable management? I can understand the speakers and stuff, you know, you want good audio, but those speakers are pretty darn ugly. And the way you set them up with the cables and stuff, you really haven't put any, any effort into making this setup look good. It just looks like an absolute mess. That Viking helmet that you have though looks pretty cool. I like that. I mean, I'm not sure I'd put it in my office, um, but I feel like it does work on a bookshelf. The only problem is you just got a ton of other shit on the bookshelf. So like, it's as if you, you just don't know where you put anything and there's no organization, you just chucked it all on there. But from looking at your desk itself, I don't know what keyboard you have, but it looks pretty cool. It looks like a mechanical keyboard and it looks like you have the Nothing Ear Ones as well. I think they're fantastic headphones. It's a shame they've had to up the price because of costs and stuff like that. But for when they were $99, I thought they were really good value for money. I think this setup definitely has a lot of potential. You've just got to sort out all the wires and sort of organize things and put things where they should be rather than all jammed together. But yeah, thanks for submitting anyway. Next up we have Rano's or Rano, Rano. I'm so sorry if I butchered your name Rano. I know we've spoken before in the past, but I really like this setup. I just had to include it. It's so unique compared to most of the other setups we see online, mainly because of that marble finish, marble sort of effect tabletop they have. I just think that looks awesome. I also like the snake plant that you have. Obviously you have the studio display, which also looks incredible with that wallpaper on it. Um, yeah, really clean setup. There's not really much else going on here. You have your MacBook connected up, you have a shelf above with, it looks like a Keychron K2 or K3 keyboard with another snake plant on there as well and some books. And then it looks like on the desk itself, you have some other little ornaments like a candle. And that book, it looks like something from Harry Potter. I don't know, is that just me thinking it? I feel like that little triangle, well, little, the, it's not very little, but the triangle with the circle in it kind of looks very Harry Potter-esque. I'm not sure what that is, but I assume you just use that as a notebook or whatever. This is a super, super clean setup, and I think it looks awesome. Um, all you need is a desk mat. Definitely need to get a ULX desk mat on there, and I think you will have finished that setup to perfection. Um, yeah, it looks awesome. Thanks for submitting. Next up, we have Sean's setup, and I'm, <laughs> I'm already laughing. <laughs> I'm already laughing before I even show you the setup because the setup itself isn't actually that funny. You know, it's just a portrait monitor, right? But it's when you scroll, <laughs> but it's when you scroll, it's when you scroll down and you see this, <laughs> this is so ridiculous. It's when you see the reply <laughs> and someone, someone just attached an image of Benedict Cumberbatch in water with the ridiculous longest neck I've ever seen. <laughs> And I feel like it just lines up incredibly well with the setup. It's just such a good reply. Whoever, honestly, fair play. And then <laughs> I didn't even see the one below. There's another one below where it's, in the, where it's just been photoshopped on top. <laughs> this is, this is, I just had to share. This is really funny. It's, the setup itself, I feel like, is clean, obviously. The portrait monitor is pretty cool, um, you know, having a portrait and stuff. But it's just the reply that, that really got me going. It really tickled me. That, that is pretty, pretty damn funny. All right, so now that the funny business is over and I've pulled myself together because that setup was pretty funny. Now we're looking at chat, chat cuffs um, setup. This is really nice. I really like the sort of dark, moody, orangey, black look to it. I think it looks awesome. But what I really like about this setup is the Harman Kardon sound sticks that you have. It looks like these are the sound sticks three or the sound sticks four. I actually tried to get them before I got my Kanto U2 speakers that I have, but I couldn't find them anywhere in the UK because I think they look awesome. Not everyone's gonna be a fan because they do look very phallic-like, but um, yeah, I, I I just think they look awesome. And they also sound incredible. I used to love my Harman Kardon sound sticks before I broke them. They sounded so, so good. The rest of the setup is pretty nice. I like the wooden desktop that you have with the wooden uh, monitor. Uh, riser, whatever you want to call it, monitor stand, that's it. Um, I also like that light bar. That light bar is huge. That's one of the biggest light bars I've seen. I'm actually wondering which one that is because that's pretty awesome. The shelving unit above it is also nice. I like how you have a few things on there, a few things that you like clearly. It looks like you have, oh mate, that's awesome. I've just noticed that miniature Sony camera. That is pretty damn cool. I might actually have to get myself one of those. I want to put it on my shelving unit. Like, I think that looks awesome. 
especially because I'm such a heavy Sony camera user. That's awesome. Looks like you have the Apple Magic Keyboard, well, the extended version. Um, and then you have a Logitech MX Master 2 or MX Master 3. If we go to the next picture, oh, just another shot of your desk. Just looks so clean. Um, what monitor are you using? It looks like you're using a Dell 32 inch. I'm just guessing, but that's what it looks like to me. And then the next picture, oh, just another shot of the light bar. Oh, and I can also see that you have your iPhone uh, AirPods on some sort of like dual charger stand thing. This is really nice. I really do like this light bar, surprisingly. Even though it's bigger than the monitor, I actually, surprisingly, I think it looks pretty good. I quite like it. Next up, we have Andrew set up. For those who aren't aware of who Andrew is, Andrew works with MKBHD Marquez in the studio and he submitted this setup. And I'll be honest, Andrew, this is an absolute, this is just chaos. What the hell is going on here? I'm disappointed in you, Andrew. I was expecting better. I was expecting a super clean, super tidy setup with, well, I mean, there is very expensive gear here, but you know, just all organized. This is, this is madness. Like, I can't believe you live like this. This is, <laughs> this is outrageous to me. How the hell do you, get, do you guys get anything done? If I had a desk set up this messy, I, I'd probably lose my mind. I, you know, it's just, just crazy. But let's look at what's good about this setup. You have a Pro Display XDR. Um, any setup with a Pro Display XDR, obviously, you know, you, you're sort of winning, let's be honest. You also have a ginormous Mac Pro. I do wonder though, Andrew, what are you actually doing with a Mac Pro? <laughs> because I, I don't think you edit the videos and stuff. I, I swear you're only just doing sort of everyday management. So I'd be really interested to hear what your use case for the Mac Pro is, or if it is just total overkill. The speakers as well, obviously, I'm sure you appreciate good audio. That's why you have the big old speakers that you have on the desk. But yeah, you need to clean up after yourself, Andrew. There is some mess here and you need to start organizing your stuff. Um, I also really do like the Herman Miller chair as well, the Herman Miller M body chair. Herman Miller chairs are just amazing. Um, but yeah, the rest of the setup, Fix yourself up, Andrew. This is just not good enough. Next up, we have Austin set up. Big fan of your work, Austin. I follow you on Instagram. I, I love your photography stuff. And yeah, he's using one of my wallpapers. Thank you very much. It looks stunning. Absolute perfection. But yeah, I really like this setup. Really clean. You can tell he's put a lot of effort into organizing everything perfectly, having a place for everything. Ultra wide monitors. Now, personally, I'm not the biggest fan of ultra wide monitors. I can completely understand why other people use them. So, you know, if everyone's use case is different. I just prefer like full 5K and 6K resolution displays when it comes to productivity stuff. But I know some people just prefer ultra wides. It just works for them. I like how you have a big plant. Well, you have two plants on the desk, which is really nice. It's just nice to add some greenery. You have your MacBook hidden away in a sort of wooden MacBook holder. Um, looks like a mechanical keyboard that you have. I'm not sure which one you have. Again, like Andrew's setup, you have a Herman Miller M body. Absolutely love those chairs. If we go to the next picture, oh, just another shot of your desk. I really like this shot, actually. This is really nice. Really well composed here. Looks like you have a Shure SM7B. I would highly recommend this. Um, I mean, obviously, if you already have a Shure SM7B, it probably doesn't make sense to get this, but if you don't have a Shure SM7B and you are considering it, Consider this one instead. This mic is really, really good. I like it a lot. Next picture. Oh, just another close up of your keyboard, your sort of desk area. Looks like you have a big old gray desk mat as well. And I like how you have the stream deck underneath with your Thunderbolt dock and a G, G, G hard drive. I don't even know what that brand is, but I always see it everywhere. And I like how it's tucked away underneath the monitorizer, the monitor stand. Thanks for submitting Austin. I really like the setup. It's super clean. Uh, maybe a bit too white for my own taste, but I like how You've broken it up with the plants and stuff. It just adds some color. Uh, maybe consider adding some prints on the wall. That could maybe step it up a notch. But hey, that's just my suggestions. Like, uh, you know, I'm no interior designer. Um, it's just my random suggestions. But yeah, thanks for submitting. Next up, we have Matthew set up. And I personally think this is one of my favorite setups of all time. Like of all time, of any setup that I've ever seen since I've been obsessed with setups. This is one of my favorites. There's something about this setup that is just super, super nice. I'm not sure, I don't know if it's the colors or something, but it just looks incredible. Two studio displays, not one, two studio displays. That's Baller AF, that I think looks awesome. The MacBook stand looks great. It looks like you have a 40, no, 16 inch. Yeah, 16 inch MacBook Pro. I love that little desk lamp that you have. You have a MagSafe charger, just super clean. It looks like maybe you've glued it onto the desk and then you have a really nice brown leather desk mat on what looks to be a maple desk. By the way, we have brown leather desk mats on our store if you guys want to check them out. Um, yeah, very similar to this. I just think the brown with the maple is such a good combo. It's so clean and so nice. It's very different from all the black sort of and gray setups that 
I do usually, mainly because of the way I set stuff up, I just prefer gray. But I think if I were looking for a lighter, more warmer setup, this is what I would go for because I think it looks incredible. Yeah, fair play, Matthew. This is a really clean, really warm setup. I think, like I said, it's, it's one of my favorite setups of all time. Yeah, I really do love this setup, it's awesome. Next up, we have Rafa's setup. I really like your work, by the way, Rafa. I know you're a designer, you do some great work. This setup is really nice, mainly because I love all of the natural light that comes in. You have two windows in this space and they look, well, the, that window on the right is very large, lets in a lot of natural light. I love setups with natural light. I just think they look really nice. You have a pretty unique desk as well, one that I haven't seen before. If you guys look carefully, you can see he's mounted his mic stand or mic desk mount thing right into the desk itself. It looks like it's a two part desk and he can sort of just mount things in it, which I think is awesome. Where do you get this desk from? I feel like it's, I really like it. I like the idea of that. Looks like you have a pro display XDR. Again, baller AF. Looks awesome with a classic Apple style wallpaper. I remember this wallpaper. Well, I think it's, there's one similar anyway. Plant on the desk, AirPods Max with the black um, ear pads actually, instead of the white ones. Pretty cool. I like this office chair as well. This office chair is pretty unique. I've seen a few setups with it. It's very unique, it's supposed to be quite ergonomic. I'm not sure I could sit in it because I just love my Herman Miller chairs, but I know for some people, office chairs like this can be very, very helpful for their back. Trackpad, black trackpad with Apple Magic keyboard and a black Apple Magic mouse as well. And I love the classic iPod hi-fi that you have sitting sort of underneath the window. That is really nice. And I remember those having amazing sound quality. I wish I could have one myself, but I don't even have an iPod. Now that I have Sonos everywhere, you know, I haven't really bothered considering one of these because if I didn't have Sonos all around my house and all around my office, I probably would get one of these and listen to music that way. Really awesome setup, Rafa, thanks for submitting it. And then finally, we have Ron's setup. And yeah, this is very different from some of the other setups that we usually see on the channel and that I get submitted, um, mainly because it's a Surface Book setup. When do you really ever see these? Um, this is really well done though. Fair play, Ron. Like, yeah, I think you've done a really good job here. You have your Surface in a, looks like a, a laptop mount or stand or whatever. You have a nice, it looks like Maple again, Maple desktop on top of Alex drawers. And I like how you have your Surface headphones just tucked away underneath on a hook. I think that's a really nice touch. Um, I love the keyboard, Mode 65 keyboard. Highly recommend those keyboards. Pricey, but I think if you're looking for the sort of best mechanical keyboard, one of the best mechanical keyboards that you can get, I would consider it. When it comes to the monitor setup itself, it's not something I would personally do. Like I feel like for my workflow, it doesn't make sense, but I can see why someone like you would, you know, having the ultra wide and then having a portrait display, you're kind of just getting best of both worlds here, right? I think it looks awesome. I also like the other little accessories you have. I like the plants that you have, and I love the big window that you have next to you as well, just letting in all that natural light. I am wondering though where this is. It looks like you're in some sort of cabin or something. Maybe you you have an out outdoor office or something because it looks like you have wooden slats on the wall. It gives it a very beach vibe. I like that. I would love to have an office on the beach or something. That would be so awesome. But yeah, thanks for submitting. I really like the setup. I think the only thing I would recommend is maybe upgrading that darn ugly office chair because that is hideous and you could do much better. But yeah, thanks for submitting. Actually, that wasn't the final setup. We do have a bonus setup here I wanted to include from Simon. This is really nice. This is so different from some of the other setups that I've seen. Thanks, Simon, for submitting it. But this is a LG Jewel Up. I've done a video on the LG Jewel Up on my channel, if you guys haven't seen that already. But yeah, it's an LG Jewel Up monitor, and it looks like you've mounted it to a different monitor stand, but that looks sick. Like, that looks awesome. I think this is a really, really nice setup. It looks like you have it connected to, up to your MacBook. I love how you sort of color coordinate everything, especially with the print on the wall and the wallpaper that you have. This is super, super nice, Simon. Like this is a very clean setup. I'm not sure it's something I would personally do. Maybe it's a bit too bright and colorful for me. I like sort of moody, gray, dark, black setups. <laughs> you guys know what I'm like. But if I were looking for a light setup, you know, this is, this is pretty neat. I like the cork, I think it's cork. Is it cork? Yeah, the cork desk mat that you have. You have your, uh, I don't know what keyboard that is, but it looks like you have a magic trackpad next to it. This is super clean. This is a really nice setup. Uh, really well done. Very different from some of the others that I've had as well, some of the others that I've covered. Um, thanks for submitting it. So yeah, that is it for this video. I'll try and leave links to everything that I can. I won't be able to leave links to everything like I said, but yeah, make sure to check out the description. I'll try and leave links to everything. Make sure to also to check out my own wallpapers and desk mats and stuff like that. 
If you guys also want to check out one of my other previous rating and roasting videos, I highly recommend checking them out. Hopefully you guys also find them funny. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter and subscribe for more.